<laughs> I look like I'm some clown. Welcome to my morning. Bones, chocolate, orange. Why did I say that? <laughs> Bones, chocolate, raspberry. I am so weird. As always, I am late. It is 5.04, I'm supposed to leave at five. Plain black bones, coffee, chocolate raspberry, putting some monk fruit sweetener in, and I'm gonna put a little bit of, my daughter is linting me, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna put just a little bit of unsweetened almond milk in which even if I like put a whole cup in here, it would only be 30 calories. She, she, she hate lint with a passion. This is what happens when you have, when I shed just as much as Link sheds. All right, guys. This is my trio that I will be drinking today until I get home from work and then I do dinner. Hot coffee with Lakanto. Oops. Cold brew with some almond milk and some coconut creamer or pumpkin pie, I'm sorry. And then chocolate keto chow with coconut uh, skinny syrup. All right, I'll see you soon. You like my cup? I think I showed you guys. I may not have. Um, I need to edit a lot of yesterday's vlog. It was a big vlog and I didn't want to overwhelm everybody. And a lot of the times I don't get as much watch like time if my vlog is super long. So um, I decided I would just cut it off and leave it into like a mini grocery haul video, but I still have to edit it. But I got this cup at Meyer, and I absolutely love it. Resting Witch Face. And you'll see the rest of the stuff that I got with my groceries. So I love that. That's got my water in it. Oh, but by the way, hey guys, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, which a lot of you are, welcome. My name is Nassine. I am 37 years old. I've been doing keto since November 1st, 2018, and I've lost 20, 26 pounds. I've lost 76 pounds doing keto. Um, it's not a competition to me, although some people think it is. Um, I've, some people in my life are like kind of bragging that they've lost more than me, and good for you. Everybody's body is different. This is not a competition. I'm losing at my own pace. Um, Maybe I'll keep mine off and you won't. Mm, I don't know. Just saying. Resting witch face. Um, <laughs> can you tell that was a little irritating to me? So today is the first day um, of the keto chow. Breaking my fast with my keto chow. So if you um, don't know what I'm talking about, is that a freaking hair? Is there a hair in my keto chow? There is a hair in my keto chow. Are you kidding me? It's my hair, but still. Anyways, it was like right there on the, my hair is everywhere. I don't know if I shed more or if Link sheds more. Anyways, if you are new here and you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link the video up in the cards. Um, Aaron does the keto and I are kind of doing like a week of intermittent fasting, breaking our fast with keto chow. We're allowed up to 50 calories while we're fasting. So like in your coffee or whatever you're gonna drink in the morning. I don't think you would really be able to get away with too much unless you ate like a pickle or something. But um, yeah, so 50 calories in your coffee. So this morning I tried to take a little clip. I'm not sure uh, what I got because I was in a rush. But in my coffee this morning, I had I had two coffees. So I had this, 
which was my hot coffee. It was Bones chocolate raspberry coffee and I put two packets of the monk fruit sweetener in and just a little bit of almond milk. And then I had some cold coffee in here with almond milk and some coconut skinny syrup. And now it's water. And uh, now I'm on to my keto chow, which I'm about to break my fast. This has eight ounces of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. It has four ounces of water and then a fourth cup of heavy whipping cream. So I haven't had heavy whipping cream in a really long time actually, now that I think about it, since the last time I had keto chow. Always lick the lid. Okay, the last time I mixed coconut in, I couldn't taste it. I definitely taste it now. Um, but why are we doing this? We're doing this to help each other, to have somebody to talk to if we are struggling, if we just need support. Um, as a weight loss community, I feel like for the most part, we're all very uh, like, there for each other and positive and supportive and uplifting there is a percentage of people that kind of are negative and it's a competition and they just want to like put people down that's not okay we're here to support each other we're here to care about each other i mean i can talk to you guys more about my weight loss than i can to like my actual like real life friends. I don't want to say like my actual friends because you guys are my friends. I've made amazing connections with you guys and I absolutely love talking to you guys in the comment section through emails, Instagram, whatever. I really enjoy it and I do consider you guys my friends. The people in my life close to me friends are the people that I find it hard to talk to about my weight loss because either they don't they don't know what I'm talking about, they don't agree or they don't care or they get tired of hearing about it. Does my boyfriend care? I know he cares. Does he want to hear about it every day, every second? Like, oh, that has this many carbs. Oh, this is that. Oh, I've lost this much weight today. No, he doesn't want to hear it constantly. He wants to, you know, have everything be normal. And yeah, he listens and yes, he's proud of me. And yes, he tells me he's proud of me, but I don't want to only talk to him about that. You know what I mean? So it's nice to have friends that actually know what you're going through, are going through it with you, and they are able to offer advice, listen, and help like lift you up if you're feeling down and you don't think you can do it because, hey, we can all do it. We just need somebody cheering us on. And I love to be that person for you guys. You guys tell me that I'm like inspirational and that I motivate you and I inspire you, and that makes me feel amazing. And I just want you guys to know that that's what you guys do to me. Like, you guys are the reason. I I can I can 100% and I'm tearing up. I can 100% say with no doubt in my mind that there'd be no way that I would still be on this journey today if it wasn't for you guys. I've almost been, why am I crying? Stop it. I've almost been uh, keto for an entire year now. And I would not be here still. I know I wouldn't if it wasn't for you guys. Holding me accountable, asking me questions, requesting things, being my friend, and just cheering me on. And I just wanna thank you guys. And that's why I did all the giveaways. I do have another giveaway coming soon. Um, I just have to wait for the package to arrive. And I just love you guys. And I just want you to know that. So. Um, head over to Erin's channel when you're done watching this and check out how her first day went of the keto chow and the intermittent fasting. I feel good today. I was a little hungry around 10 o'clock but now that I'm here and I'm able to eat I'm not starving anymore and I've only taken one drink. But I do have to go because it's 11:40, and I only have a half an hour lunch so I'm gonna go ahead and drink my chow and I'm gonna read some comments catch up on everything and I will see you guys uh, after work bye amazing amazing things happened today my gourmet keto chow pack arrived for myself we got orange cream snickerdoodle which I've had 
chocolate coffee, savory chicken soup. I'm interested in trying that. Root beer float, can't wait. Raspberry cheesecake, can't wait. Pumpkin spice caramel, can't wait. Chocolate mint, can't wait. Eggnog, can't wait. And natural strawberry, I've had that one. So, super excited. Yay for all of the chows. But then this is only gonna be three days, six days, seven, eight, nine, ten days worth. I definitely need to get me a big bag. Ooh, y'all. I also wanted to say that I got my first YouTube check today and it was more than I expected. Now, it was for um, the little bit of July and August and part of September. So that was really cool. Um, and it came at the best time ever because Corey needed his money for tomorrow for his cap and gown. So it really came at the best time ever. So I was able to get that for him. And then the boys brought their picture things home today. So I'm able to order pictures for them. So I'm so excited. Um, the guys came to fix the gas line. However, they didn't turn the gas back on. So I had to call the gas company and now I'm waiting for them to come back out and turn it on. I need to figure out, I mean, it's almost six o'clock. I gotta cook dinner, I can't wait. So I need to figure out what we're gonna do for dinner, probably cook some chicken or something in the Insta Pot or the air fryer, and I'll update you when I figure that out. So since uh, stove is still not working because I got a call the gas company, I'm waiting for them to come and turn it back on. I chopped up my chicken and I put it in the Insta Pot. I seasoned it with this uh, basil, oregano, garlic, and sea salt. I used the rest of it by McCormick. And I'm just getting this cooked up and just like browned. I have it, my Instant Pot set to saute. Then I'm gonna like just layer my pizza toppings on top of it. And I'm gonna put it in for like, I don't know, 10, 10 minutes and we'll check on it. I'll update you. All right guys, so here it is. I just kind of threw stuff together. So you've seen me season the chicken. I sauteed it, I threw in the sauce, and I threw in some shredded mozzarella and cheddar pepperonis, and that's it. So it's kind of just like a, I guess it, I more or less made a chicken pizza soup. And that's okay with me, because it looks delicious. So I'm gonna plate it up, I'm gonna make a salad, and I'm gonna sit down and enjoy my beautiful dinner. Well, this is a hit. The kids really like it. Rinse that bowl out, please. The kids really like it. So I have this, and then I also made myself a salad. This is just cucumber, tomato, ranch, and some Parmesan crisp and spinach. And I have a Dr. Zevia. A Dr. Zevia. So that's dinner, guys. I will talk to you guys oh. after I'm done eating. Excuse you. Epic. Excuse you. <laughs> Say it. Excuse me. Oh.